Thank you very much for playing our uh, lovely Siler. You're welcome. We uh, appreciated your performance, beautiful playing. Well, thank you. Um, so what did you find in this piano that was very uh, enjoyable when you played it? Absolutely. I really like that this piano is very responsive to my playing. Mm -hmm. um, as a pianist, that's one of the most important things that you want in a really great piano that this piano has. You want a piano to convey exactly what you're thinking and feeling through the music mm -hmm. without any interruptions, any hiccups, and this piano has it in spades. It's not only great to look at, but it's a beautiful instrument that allows my music to sing and to project itself effortlessly. Wonderful. I really love this instrument. Thank you, That's a, we, we do too. So another question, um, how do you, in any performance situation or even a piano that you might choose to go in your home, uh, select an instrument? That's a great question. Um, one of the things that you definitely want um, to do is obviously play the instrument. Um, if you're an accomplished pianist, um, that's easy to do. Um, but I think a lot of people need to know that when they come into a piano store, um, that the salespeople are really wanting you to try an instrument. So don't be afraid to sit down, even if you're a beginner, and play the instrument. Use the pedals. Look inside the piano. That's what it's, the store is there for. And when I do that, I instantly listen to the piano and listen for what it gives me back. Because each piano, like this piano, has a voice of its own. And the only way you're going to be able to find that voice is if you play it. And whether you're five or 85, when you play that piano in a music store such as this, um, you're gonna get something back, and that's what you wanna wanna do when you're selecting a piano. Awesome. So you've obviously played many pianos in your career and been around. Yes. Um, without asking for a number system, how would you rank this piano? Oh well, it's easy to to say this is a ten, because it gives me everything back that I pour into it. Mm -hmm. That's the hallmark of a great piano, is that every effort that you give the piano is given back to you in spades. Could you demonstrate something like that just briefly? Yeah, sure. Really? Yeah. So um, this is the uh, second movement of Beethoven's Pathétique, and one of the um, inherent challenges in this music is that you bring out the melody, mm -hmm. um, which is above all of these little um, oscillating notes. Um, in other parts of the hand. And so you want a piano that allows that melody to shine above everything else without the pianist having to do a lot of work. Mm -hmm. um, it's work, but it needs to be joyful work. Mm -hmm. And this piano makes it joyful. And what 
I like so much about this piano is that it's not a labor mm -hmm. to bring that melody out. It's just there. Yeah. Um, it's like a real comfy couch. It supports you, mm -hmm. um, and it's so comfortable. When I play this instrument, it's like I'm home with every... Well, that, that's a large part of the piano. Oh, yes. Okay. So you played so well that Beethoven, and you know it highlights the middle of the piano, which is uh, a challenge because you've got the thickness of the bass sounds above a melody that's right there around middle C. Right. Uh, and of course, like you said, the piano helps you bring that out so, so lovely. Uh, what about the top register of the piano? Yeah. How, how does this piano work for you there? Because that's mainly us pianists, where we play, right. the melody is the top register, yeah. and that's so important. And this piano um, is very, very responsive. Mm -hmm. I love how the melody instantly sings. I can, I can show yeah, you please. that. Um, in this piece, um, you've got a right hand, mm -hmm. and you've got this lovely melody on top, mm -hmm. which is accompanied. sparkles um, and many other pianos um, that is a challenge um, that the pianist often faces because the melody um, sometimes gets lost in the piano um, and sometimes the pianist has to work too hard mm -hmm. to bring it out not in this piano um, I love how it's again it's just effortless that's the best way that I can describe it right. Great, lovely. Well, that was beautiful, beautiful music. So, thank you. Um, so, Dr. Elderkin, thank you very much for sharing with us today, sharing some of your music and, and playing this beautiful Siler, which, sure. which we love as well, and, and giving us your opinion of the instrument. Um, we'd just love if we could close this out with you playing just a few bars of something and we'll shut it all down. Yeah, sure. Thank you.